this is Chris with Overclockers Club. Today we have two industrial PPC fans from Noctua, the NFA-14 and the NFF-12. Alright, we have the fans out of the boxes, but before we talk about these, let's talk about the old standard, the classic, the NFA-15. This fan, in its unmistakably recognizable Noctua colors, has been around for a while. You'll find them in many, many, many of your home PCs. Uh, the packaging on these is amazing. Noctua puts a wealth of information on the inside flap, on the back of the box, and even a back flap. There's a lot of information, specifications, and features there. So, truly amazing fan. However, these are actually industrial PPC fans. They're made to operate at 3,000 RPMs and 24 volts. Now, they'll operate just fine on your standard 12 volts that you find in your home PCs. However, they'll run a little bit slower. The smaller 120 millimeter fan will run at about 1,000 RPMs. The larger 140 millimeter fan will run at about 1,800 RPMs. Uh, another nice thing that I really like about these fans is that we have a 15 inch lead. They are four pin PWM. PWM stands for pulse width modulation. It's been around for a while. It's an excellent way for controlling fan speed. Now the motors on these fans are actually six slot and it's a three phase motor and it has a special IC chip inside to control this fan. So this fan, if you notice, turns much more smoothly. It doesn't have the cogging that you find on a regular on a regular fan. Now, the other thing that's interesting about these fans is we have these nice uh, brown rubber isolation pieces here that pop right off the corner. And I'm going to show you some more interesting features that Noctua has here in just a moment. All right, now we can talk about the anti-vibration pads and the anti-vibration mounts that Noctua has available. Now, if you want to dress out your fan in a different color, you can pop these little guys off the corner, and it comes with the brown ones. And if you want to dress your fan out in red, you can just pop these little anti-vibration pads onto each corner in a variety of colors. I like red, personally. And you can see we got two of the four corners there on the front face, and of course we have enough to do the back. We have them available in white, black, yellow, green, and blue, as well as red here. Uh, we also have these little anti-vibration mounts, and these are really nice. The fans come with your standard screws to mount them in a case, but these are really nice. And the way they work is if you're going to mount your fan as an exhaust fan in your case, for example, so that it is pushing the air this direction, you're going to mount it against the back of your case. So what you do is, is you take these little guys and you fish one through here like this and you pull it, it pops in, then you go to the back of your case, you fish it through the hole in the case and you pull it through that way. Of course you do that to all four corners and you have a very quick, very convenient way to mount these fans and you also have the added benefit of the anti-vibration. So these are some great fans with some great mounting options. And next, we'll talk a little bit about the performance. Keep in mind that these are industrial fans. They're not really meant for use in a home PC because you're not going to have 24 volts available in a home PC anyway to take advantage of the full RPM range of these fans. But Noctua does have a full line of fans that are perfect for PC use. Check them out at their website. So let's get some temperature readings here. The setup here is using the Noctua D14 with the stock fan and we're just going to use a single fan, it's a 120 millimeter fan. We've got a mild overclock here to generate a little bit of heat. And what I want to do is first look at the inside of the fin stack there, we're right around 29, close to 30 degrees C. If we go ahead and look in the center, that's the VRM there on the other side of the motherboard, so that's, that's going to be a hot spot. I want to avoid that. And I'm trying to get my temperatures off of the fin stack here. And again, the other side of the fin stack, we're right around uh, close to 30 degrees C. So what we'll do now is we'll put the NFF12 on there, which is the 120 millimeter uh, industrial PPC fan, and we'll see what it does at stock speeds. And now we have the NFF12. This is the industrial fan. Now, this fan is rated to run at 24 volts which your motherboard will not put out 24 volts. So over here off to the side, I don't know if you can see it very well, we have a 24 volt power supply right there. So right now we're actually running off of the motherboard 
uh, power supply. And that means the RPM, which is normally up to 2,000, we're going to be running considerably less. Uh, in fact, we're running at about 1,000 RPMs, which is about 300 less than the stock Noctua fan. So you would expect to see possibly a slight temperature difference. And we do. We see about a degree, uh, degree and a half higher than the stock Noctua fan. But that's because we're running the NFF12 at a slower speed. So what we'll do next is we'll go ahead and apply the 24 volts to it, which should uh, bump that RPM up to around 2000. And then we'll see what that does to the temperature. Now we are running 24 volts from the external 24 volt power supply to the NFF12. So it is not being powered by the motherboard. It is louder now since we are spinning at the 2000 RPM level. And we are certainly moving a lot more air. So if we look at the back of the first fin stack there, we are a little cooler. We started out around 29, then we got up to uh, 31 with this fan running at the slower speed uh, with the voltage supplied by the motherboard. So now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and put the 140 millimeter version on here and then we'll run it at stock and the higher speed too and see what the temperatures look like. And now we have the NFA14 which is the 140 millimeter version of this industrial fan. It is running at about 1691 so call it 1700 rpms that's at the uh, motherboard supplied voltage there and you can see we're around 27 28 somewhere around in there somewhere around 27 and a half and now we'll go ahead and put the 24 volt uh, power to it and see what that does to the temperature when we get the rpm up to around 3000 now we have the RPMs cranked up to around 3000 since we're supplying the 24 volts from the external power supply. Fan is noticeably louder but we're moving a significant amount of air. We look at the temperatures across the back, we are into the 24s, so we've definitely dropped the temperature considerably. Of course there's my makeshift tie across the top since this fan didn't really have the mounting provisions for this type of a cooler. It's really made to be installed in a case rather than directly to a pool. But I wanted to give you an idea of the performance and what, what the uh, thermal imaging looks like when we put some heat to it and test it out at the different speeds and voltages. So this is Chris with Overclockers Club. Thanks for watching.